So it's about a week before Christmas, Seth. Tell me, where are we right now? We're in Polo Grounds. In Which is Harlem. what? In Harlem. It's one of our Sunday school sites. And we're going to go visit a family who used to live at another one of our sites. But some guys came in their house with four machine guns and pushed people down and pointed them at everybody saying they were going to kill them. My kid's life was put in danger. So I had to, for their safety, move them out of the area. Only two of the men of the four were caught. So I gave up everything. I, I lost everything. What, is, what are the holidays like for you right now? It's hard because kids don't understand disappointment. They don't understand that things don't happen for reasons, you know, beyond our control. And f for what they went through and what they're going through now and having to give up their, give up their friends and, you know, their school and everything and me not being able to go back to work. And it's just hard, you know, it's real hard. And now the holidays is coming and I can't, there's nothing I can do right now. So for you, what, is it, what does it mean to have people who don't even know you sending Christmas gifts and stuff for you? It's, it's a blessing because, you know, sometimes you think things won't ever get better or that they, you may not get to see your kids smile when you want to see them smiling. To have somebody come into your home and do the things that you can't do, it's, it makes you feel real good. It makes you keep hope. What would you say to people who are wondering whether or not to give to Metro's Operation Holiday Hope? Metro is, to these kids, a father, a friend, a preacher. It's food when they're hungry. It's hope on Friday that I don't have to listen to mommy and daddy argue because I'm going to hear something good. They get to have somebody hug them and tell them everything is all right and to take the little things that they get that people donate the scarves that they knit my kids didn't have a hat they didn't have a hat it's freezing outside now they have a hat because somebody took the time to sit down and knit the hat and donate it so that's what it means to us that's what it means to my family and i'm sure i speak for a lot of the other families too